Hi, my name is Frank Furness, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Started out life as a financial advisor, was pretty successful, qualified for MDRT, top of the table many times. I ran huge teams, and I was also a partner in three firms in London. I've spoken all over the world for financial services companies, banks, anyone who has anything to do with financial services, I've probably spoken to or even they've bought some of my courses. And recently I decided to put together the world's largest online course for financial advisors. 281 videos, 108 audios, 12 eBooks and scripts for everything. And in this mini series, I'm going to be sharing just part of that huge package. And this is the 10 habits for successful financial advisors. Enjoy. The next habit of successful people is they focus where others don't. If you're going to be out there selling to where everyone else is, geez, it's a hard marketplace, it's very hard to stand out. So I've always tried to do some really unusual and different kind of things. In my job as a speaker, I decided I was going to do something very different. I do a lot of work in the Middle East and I thought I'm going to do an e-blast to CEOs in the Middle East. All of my friends laughed at me. Well, I said I've got to try it first and prove myself wrong. First thing I needed was a database. I outsource as much as I can in my business, so I went to an organization called Elance. It's now called Freelancer, but you've also got Odesk, uh, Guru.com, a number of places where you can go. They will do websites for you. These are some of the most intelligent people on the planet where you can outsource what you need doing. I went to them. I said I need a database of CEOs in the Middle East. You've got to be very specific. Excel spreadsheet, I want the name, phone number, email address. I want 4,000 names and I'm prepared to pay $500. I had 20 subcontractors coming back to me and say we could do this. I found one really good one. I've now got 4,000 names. I've got to get that message right. And a book that I recommend everybody buys is one called Selling to Vito, Selling to Very Important Top Officers by Anthony Paranello. And it's all about how do we get through the gatekeepers? How do we put together that email, that message, that marketing message that we're going to get out there? I also do a thing called split testing. So what I did is I wrote four different emails and I sent it out to four lots of 100 people on that list and then waited to see what the results were going to be like. Three of the emails were terrible. Results, not great. One, fantastic. That's the one I'm going to use. If I'd used one of the other emails, I would have said, well, this e-blast stuff doesn't work. No, it does work. You've got to get the message right. And by the way, if you're ever going to be trying any of this, pay experts to do this for you. I went out and got some really good copywriters, paid them a lot of money. Sent out my e-blast and now I'm waiting to get the results. I do a lot of work in Dubai. I've been trying to get onto Dubai FM for years. It's the main radio program that goes out to the expatriates there. I just can't get through the gatekeeper. She's way too good for me. Send out the e the e blast. Ten minutes later, I get a phone call. This is Dubai FM. We just received your message. We're doing a program on self promotion. Would you like to be on it? How crazy is that? Every traditional method hasn't worked. The e-blast has worked. I then got something else. I, I get a phone call. A young lady says, I'm the personal assistant to the CEO of the biggest construction company in Abu Dhabi. Can you come in and do some presentation skills training with our team, our board of directors? I said, yeah, I'd love to do that. A week or so later, another phone call. Actually, it's just one-on-one -on -one with our CEO. Do you think you could work with him? I said, sure. Another week goes by and they come back and they say, we've checked you out, which means I've looked at your website, I've looked at your blog, I've looked at your LinkedIn profile, I've looked at Facebook, there are no drunken pictures, we're going to take you on board, but I haven't told you the whole truth. He's not only the CEO of the biggest construction company, but he's also the crown prince of Abu Dhabi. And this is me and the palace there, nobody gets to go into the palace at Abu Dhabi. It was an incredible experience. 
But I did one thing that nobody else thought of doing. At the end of the two days, I pulled out my camera and I said, can I get a video testimonial? He said, sure, no problem at all. Did the video testimonial, put it on my website, put it on YouTube. About three months later, I start getting phone calls from all over the Middle East. We saw you working with the Crown Prince. Can you come in and work with us? Now, this is what I try and do when I was in financial services. Wherever, whatever kind of business I'm in, is I try to focus where others don't. I try to become a go-to person where others, I don't have too much competition. So think about that in your business. Where can you focus where there's not too much competition, where you can become the go-to person for dentists, for computer consultants, for accountants, for lawyers. So next habit over there is focus where others don't. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and got a feel for what the course is all about. Now, as I say, it's a huge, huge course. And what I'd invite you to do is go and take a look at our sales page, salesstrategiesforadvisors.com. If you like what you see and you want to invest in yourself, when you get to the checkout page where it says offers, if you just type in 50 off, you'll be saving 50%. You'll be getting an instant 50% off your course right now. I don't give this to everybody, but it's a little thank you for staying and watching the whole video. So, hey, this is Frank, and I look forward to seeing you on the other side.